Three Cents Podcast is brought to you by Integrity Roofing and Siding. These guys are awesome when it comes to roofing needs, but also siding and renovation. They do gutters. These are year-round issues, and Integrity Roofing and Siding is there for you 24-7 year-round. Need a roofer? Our roofer is Integrity Roofing and Siding, 210-340-7663. 210-340-7663, the official roofing company of Three Cents Podcast is Integrity Roofing and Siding. One more time yeah. in 2023. Here we go. It's the Three Cents Podcast presented by Integrity Roofing and Siding. I'm Ernie Zuniga. Mike Taylor is here. Petra Rodriguez is here. LG is here. Not seen on the screen, but he's definitely here. The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> he's the man behind the curtain. Yeah. Who makes it all happen. Makes uh, it all happen. Makes us all look thin and everything. Well, well hold on. I love it. Yeah, although I love the it. room makes me look even whiter than I <laughs> pretend that I'm not. <laughs> the white side's coming out of you, Mike. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Pretty wide, aren't I, LG? Oh, oh, there it is again. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. One last time. One last time. One last time. One last time. 2023. Right. That's right. Just uh, needed to do it. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Look how I blended in with a wall. You're like, speaking, yeah. of, like a chameleon. We're like, speaking of losing weight, uh, New Year's resolution is going to kick in. And, uh. <laughs> yeah, so we're coming in. We're knocking on the door of 2024 here on Monday. Yeah, and so I, I don't know about you. I, I'm finding myself uh, reflecting on the year that was. And, and uh, I just go back to January and what was happening <laughs> in my life in January. And, and the proverbial bingo card. And if yeah. you had told me that I'd be uh, the final week of December doing a podcast with Mike Taylor. <laughs> The sports radio I'm guy, sorry. and Cleto, the stand-up comedian, and I would meet LG. I, I'd have, I'd have thought you had the wrong Ernie, That's but, right. but yeah. one, no, what it shows you what I know. Here we Ernie, are. it 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 is. Uh, you never know. You never been know. Slumming all year. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Bless me. Yeah. I stopped predicting the future a long time ago because I would either be wrong or I mm-hmm. I would just I was just I sucked. This at it. has to be a huge shock for you, Ernie. <laughs> This has to be a huge shock. Well, if you'd asked me in January. <laughs> yeah, in January. In yeah, January, like, yes. By the way, Ernie, let me show you the cards. <laughs> <laughs> You've drawn death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, man, no, we're rolling. We're there rolling are worse here. ways to die than this. Uh, yeah, but, you but know, no. I love doing what I do. Don't get me wrong, you know, and I'm <laughs> yeah. happy. I, I, in January, I would have told you that I would have been out of eye heart. Okay. Yeah. And it's not personal. <laughs> I always feel like I should say that. <laughs> Disclaimer. I would have told you in January, by the end of the year, my plan is to have probably moved on from my radio show. Right. To try something new. Because it's now or never. And yeah. willing to remain, and you're risking never being able to get back into radio if your podcast doesn't work out. And that's okay. I right. knew that going in. <laughs> I don't I think that there were some things that went down that I would change for sure, like the day that I quit. Mm-hmm. but I had every intention of resigning by the end of this year from there. Yeah. I moved it up to June for different reasons. Yeah. Some of them I regret, but you know what? I just sped up the inevitable and all I did was move up the inevitable because yeah. I was looking to get out by the end of the year. So it's okay. Yeah. You know? It if worked out all, okay. If you would have told okay. me We're still here <laughs> yeah. in January yeah. that uh, you're going to be on a podcast with probably... Two guys that you respect very highly. Thank you. Oh. I would have probably said, nah, <laughs> no way, no way. I, I'm, I'm a solo act. <laughs> and I never wanted to be a solo act, and they made I, me. It's funny. I, it, it, you had said that earlier in the podcast mm-hmm. that when we started this, yeah. that you had always wanted to be part of a band. And it's funny, in a sense, there's a way I've always wanted to be part of a band, too, but never... I was always stand up and you do stand up alone, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, sure. And then when I got with the news, I was like my part of the band right. kind of deal. Mm-hmm. And it's like it became part of a family because I saw them every day. And I, you know, we, it was almost like I would watch, you know, them every day, their families every day. And then I listen to you every day. So it, it kind of just all came together. And, and uh, 
you know, of course, this whole podcast live Facebook live thing just took off and took a life of its own. And now everybody's doing it. Just mm -hmm. just went right when you thought you were a pioneer. It's like everybody's wow. doing it now. And it's like <laughs> and, it, and good for them because it's like it opens more doors and it's like yeah. people are able to see what we're able to do and what we contribute as far as content and so yeah. on. And this has been an amazing ride for me. And I think I thank you both for being part of that. And, uh, sure. you know, it's like. Uh, it's interesting because you, you, you say, you know, you've seen you guys work in action, but then to be working with you is a whole other bag. It's like, wow, I never thought that. Well, it's crazy because I'm with you. I've, I've listened to Mike many times over the years. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I've known you and worked with you. But if you just said you, that we're going to get the three of us together in a room yeah. and we're going to talk... I mean, I, 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 like I said, when we first got together, I thought we were hilarious together. And it's just a yeah. matter of what will everybody else out there think? Every, and everybody, you know, tuned in and they were like, you know, I, I mean, the response I got was, man, you guys are entertaining. This is a great show. I can't wait to, <laughs> it's like a novella. I can't wait to see it again. And, you know, they just love it. They love what we bring to the table. And that's awesome. That's a good Sign, I so. think this is our 22nd episode if you're if we're scoring wow. at home. So. And I will say this, too, in yeah. the, since we're sitting here patting each other on the back. And I say this sincerely, <laughs> though. I was, look, I, I've, I've always wanted to be a duo or an, or an ensemble or at least have equal partners in a show where it wasn't me and some board op, you know, which <laughs> I never liked. And I never liked that at all. And that's why I always made my... My, I have a, I have like a Greg Popovich list of board ops. That's gone right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Him being one of them. The tree. Yep. Yeah, yeah, where they all go on to way better things because you can't work for that kind of mm -hmm. money running a dude's board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm making you a part of the show and people know who you are. And it's weird. Um, I but, finally got to see what LG looked like. Yeah, that's yeah. cool, right? He's a little Asian guy, like I told you. <laughs> so I, well, Heck well, I decided that I was going to go. I've always wanted to work with other people, but... I'm very discriminatory about who those people are. Mm, sure. I wasn't just going to go jump in to some ensemble here in town with just because I could, you know, it needed right. to be people that I trusted that I thought were good and talented that also had names that would mm -hmm. benefit me or what's the point, you know? Right. Um, anyway, that, I guess I'm saying there's only a few other people in this city I would even consider doing podcasts with. And you guys are on this short list. Likewise. And so it worked Thanks. out great. Or I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing this because, this is risky, you know. No matter yeah. how famous we are, we're we're, we're we're San Antonio famous. There's a big difference. <laughs> it's a big yeah, deal. yeah, yeah. Uh, Infamous. This town will prop up mediocre people. I'm I'm one of. Them. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> well, <laughs> but I would only but I was only going to do a show with a few people. What's if I had to come up with a list, it'd have been a short list, and it was, which worked out. It's yeah. like the, it's like someone had told me because you got three of the biggest names in San Antonio hey, coming together. Wait a minute, and then you got you got you had, the way you put it, Mr. Fox, Mr. Sports, and Mr. Las Palmas. So it's like hey, okay, right, I'm like, on. all right, <laughs> thanks a lot. And, and and but he was a comedian, hey. and he was of course yeah. trying to be funny. <laughs> but it was like he really enjoyed, you know, like he was literally a fan of everybody here. And he was just like, you know what? I, he respected me of course as a comic, but he respected you guys for the, the areas that you were, you know, you've grown to accustomed to everybody in San Antonio. Yeah. And he really meant that, you know, Mr. The mayor of sports. And then of course, Mr. Fox himself, Thank Ernie. You. And Thank it's you. like, it's just what we brought to the table that he, he tunes in every time, every week. And that's, that's what we wanted, you know? And then, then we got swag and became a brand. So, you know, it's like the yeah. same. Thank you, you to Alamo you Tees. You wear it well. What's up? Alamo, Alamo Tees, Tees merchandise yes, right sir. there. There you go, advertising. <laughs> there they are. No, and we're looking forward to continue working with them in, in 2024. You saw Integrity Roofing and Siding and, and Ronnie and Stephanie Suarez. Huge here. thanks to the sponsors. It's Unbelievable. Chatterbox. And within right. the last, know. you know, yeah. in the last couple of months, we found a home. You know, we That's were kind of right. like the traveling road show, the antique road, <laughs> well, well, like, antique road show. What kind we, of gypsies are these? We were moving yeah. around, and then and then our, our dear friend Ernest here at Chatterbox uh, allowed yeah. us into his home here, and it's been fantastic. Chatterbox. I, you know, it's I, I knew he had this. I, Ernest gave me a tour of this building. When, when, when did we come up here? Over a year ago. And I thought it was so cool. Yeah. We had a studio at LG's place, though. But this place, I always wanted to eventually find something to do in this room. It's just neat to come down it to sure this is. part of the city. You feel hip. Yeah, you know, what, what, they're, they're yeah. building up this part of East Side now. Yeah, you know it's coming it, they, every every month. Something new and cool pops up, and so it's in a good central place. And there are a lot of people that want to do this goofy job, whether it's your job or your your hobby. Um, Chatterbox is the place you should go because they're the official podcast studio 
of this show. That's and, right. And and and, and, we, and again, we ain't working with we ain't working with just folks. That's right. right. You got to know what you're doing. We vetted this guy for over a year the first time <laughs> I saw this studio, and I knew it was legit. And if you're a want to be podcaster, Chatterbox. What a great name too that is. It's great. I got called to Chatterbox all my life as a kid. Me too. Oh my me gosh. Too. And shocking. I tell people, what are you doing now? Oh. oh they yeah. ask me, what do you do for a living? I'm a talk show. Oh, oh poor, yeah. of course you are. You can Chatterbox. I what always say, yeah, well, if I'm going to find a job that pays me to talk. Yeah, and it's, it's a cool studio. He, I mean, not only does he rent it out to people that just do part-time podcasts, like Chris Paul does a podcast, mm-hmm. the, the future Hall the of Fame. The basketball player, player, yes. Whenever they're in town, I guess he's with Golden State now, he always rents this room that we're sitting Wow, that's crazy. Um, the AP will come in here, and they send a reporter to cover a big story. Or, um, um, NPR will send reporters whenever yes. they have to do stories in South Texas. They'll use these studios. These are great studios. Yeah. And they get the job done, and I appreciate my boy Ernest at Chatterbox. Absolutely. It's been great. Well, listen. I we, guess that was a live spot, wasn't it? But I, that's I, fine. I, but I mean that. I'm serious. No, I, no, no. I, I, we have a room. We've got good We got good guys on the show. We've got supporters. We have, we're have. we hopefully building subscribers and listeners every week. And I'm ready to keep going, man. Great Let's equipment another year. Thing. Uh, we, we just ask that you guys share the video or tell a friend, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, obviously, we have big plans for 2024, and, and I don't know how much you've had a chance to think about. Uh, we've got a, what, a couple more days before the new year. Um, if you have any plans for, what well, I guess that would be Sunday night, Monday morning. Sunday night, Monday um, morning. All those years of doing morning TV news, I, I was at the mercy of the calendar, and I couldn't stay up very late, and it was... My wife was always petrified when I would get up. I had to work on New Year's Day on January 1st and had to drive into work at 2.30 in the morning or mm, 3 o'clock Everybody in the coming home. Yeah. People yeah. coming home from that. Uh, she hated that. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I won't have that problem this year. But uh, <laughs> nonetheless, um, yeah, I don't know if you have any plans or if you like to do New Year's Eve big. Well, when we were... What, when, what were you well, doing a year ago? Me? <clears throat> uh, let's see. I at was... Like, how did you celebrate New Year's? I was year? at my, we were at my mother-in-law's house and mm-hmm. we would just go out there and we had, yeah, we were at my mother-in-law's house and the kids started playing, doing fireworks and all that stuff. Cause she lives out in the country. Mm-hmm. So we, and we live in the country, so we could have been at our house, but we were at my mother-in-law. She had the menudo over there. Then they start bringing out the shotguns and we said, okay, it's time to go. Yeah. Time what? To go. Yeah. They start shooting the shotguns up in the air and, uh, you know, what goes up must come down. You that know is what I mean? true. So. So, but you know, for the longest time when I was on the news, I was uh, doing the New Year's Eve show mm. and downtown, the downtown. Celebrate San Antonio. So it was That's right. Like they would have me go down there, and I'd be there with the news four people, and and uh, it was cool, it was fun. But it, you know, it was it, it would after it was done, it was already like one o'clock. I mean, so I get home or I get to my mother in law's, and I'm just <sighs> eating my menudo, and I'm like, I'm ready to go to bed. You know, I'm ready yeah. to go hit the sack and. I got started getting older and that kind of thing. And so <laughs> now, now it's like we're this year is the first time uh, we are going to um, go downtown and just kind of uh, we rented a room downtown. Mm. But we, oh, I nice. play, I got, well, it's kind of neat because I, I, I got smart because, you know, the funding's a little, you yeah. know, yeah, you know, so we kind of, uh, instead of going to the Hyatt that's right downtown by the tower facing yeah, the tower, yeah, yeah. seeing the fireworks for like $700. I played smart, and I was driving on the freeway, and I saw, oh, Holly, uh, no, what is that? Uh, 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 Homewood Suites. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Home what, the the the, the uh, Homewood Suites or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's like right next to the Alamo Dome. Yeah, yeah. That little r- hotel, and I said, oh, that's a straight shot to the tower. And how much are the rooms there on the New Year's City View? And they're like, oh, it's like two hundred and thirty. My man. There you go. And yeah. I said, they have you booked like two days. They go, well, I only need it for one day. And they go, well, you come in, you got to pay for it. Like, well, how much is that? And they go like two thirty. Like, my man, they might as well. What's wrong with an extra day? Yeah, right. <laughs> so I thought I you were going to say you you would do a set maybe. And well, like a I was. Tray, I, you know, I told them I'd do dishes if they let me go ahead and <laughs> yeah. hang out there, you know. But it's like, it's right facing the tower. And we got to, we don't really have to, I mean, I just figured get a bunch of snacks Oxtail. Do you do oxtail? oxtail. No, no. Oxtail no, and white right. rice. Do you ever do that? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a tradition? No? Yeah, it's a tradition. It's a what? tradition, but I'm not down with I like that. Hey, hey, hold on, let me tradition? ask LG. Is, you, you know this, right? About the uh, oxtail and, Profiling. and white rice. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. But it's it's a thing. It's like a, it's like a New Year's deal, like a meal oh. for... What is it? What is it, LG? Is like good I've luck always, or something I've like that? I've only heard about the, black eyed peas. Well, that's not what it is. Black, no, black eyed peas with oh, yeah. oxtail. Okay. And white rice. For the record, I like oxtail. Yeah, yeah. I've had it. Oh, it's I love good. it. It's good. It's, it's good. like you have 
But it's expensive, man. I tell you, we almost put carne asada in last year because mm. it was so expensive. <laughs> and it was like, it was uh, oxtail and black eyed peas. That's right. Yeah. With white rice. Oh, and I good. love that on New Year's Eve. That sounds really? good. I, and we have that. And then we have our <laughs> typical menudo. And so I was thinking about getting that made, taking it to the room, oh, eat it over there geez. in the room. And if it's cold that night, I ain't trying to go outside. I'm just like staying right there, watch it from our hotel and all the fireworks. And we're good. Just get all our little snacks. You mentioned getting a place that faces the fire. Faces the yeah. It's, it's expensive. Gotta be, it's got to be okay. city view. See, here's what we did one time years ago. I rented a room at the Grand Hyatt, oh, yeah. facing south. <laughs> oh, this side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Away yeah. from the fireworks. Okay. At midnight, uh, I, it looked. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is funny. No, but it's more true. fireworks. Then they blew out the city. Yes, they did. They blew the city's fireworks display yeah. out the <laughs> water. It did. And you see the little flames. Those were gunshots. <laughs> yes. Gunshots. No, the the, the, <laughs> uh, the south side. It looks like it looked like Lebanon, Beirut in the daytime. It did. It was unbelievable. The classic. So when I, <laughs> not, real. not to mention the news again, but all those years, there's the classic helicopter shot. When the, the, of the, the city at midnight. Yes, we, and, and we were it. up yep. on the twentieth floor, facing south, and you see everything. Oh, my eyebrows were going to fall out. It was. <laughs> I felt the heat. <laughs> <laughs> it literally it was unbelievable. It is. Our city kicks <laughs> ass. On, it on it does. And Fourth of July. <laughs> yeah. I went. July. I went like, a couple weeks ago to go see the lights, the Christmas lights, and Windcrest. Yes. Okay. It's like a tradition we'll mm-hmm. do. Sure. And we'll try to do the drive through, or whatever. But we we haven't been to Windcrest in a while. We went mm-hmm. to go check them out. We're looking at the lines and we're oh, okay. This is cool. Just you know, it's just they got the blockades, the, the barricades to go ahead and block mm-hmm. you from crossing mm-hmm. street street. So we wind up going doing that whole uh, Elf Louise thing, and yeah. we had to go deliver over there in the South Side. Man, those South my South Side peeps over there. Man, we should have went there because they had like blocks and blocks of Christmas lights. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, like the one lady said, "Hey, take a good look because you know, we're about to get lose our power." And I'm <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> I told her because I said I complimented her on her lights, and she told me that yeah. I busted out laughing. I said, "You know, ma'am, that is something I expected my aunt to say, like you know, yeah. seriously." <laughs> and she said, it. "She, goes, I'm telling you the truth, but the one we're about to cut the lights off. They gave me a notice. You want me to show you the notice? Oh, no, I'm all no, right. I'm right. okay. Oh. Uh, I'm in my Santa suit. I don't want to know." <laughs> Well, the the weatherman is calling for a low of forty degrees Ooh. on Sunday night e. into Monday morning. Yeah, so, I'm good. Um, I'm staying right in that so hotel room. Make sure that oxtail is warm. And oxtail, menudo, pizza for the kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Might get Chinese. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with Chinese. <laughs> I like me some. You know, my friend makes egg rolls on New Year's. Homemade, homemade egg rolls okay. with his oxtail. With oxtail, no, no, <laughs> no, he has, he has, he actually has a Chinese dish that they make every year, but. Yeah. I'm like, I'm open for whatever, but I just want to have something to eat. So something warm. Last New Year's Eve, I, I I was I'm glad you I was thinking, what the hell? I asked him what he did and I, what the hell did I do? I now I remember. So, so we're on the north side now. We didn't mm-hmm. I didn't get a chance. I saw the I saw the, the Twitter madness from the south side. Yeah. Last <laughs> New Year's though, we watched the ones at Fiesta, Texas. Mm. Because where I live now faces that direction. That's right. I'm a, I'm a north sider. I hooked right. up with That's Nina right. thinking I'm gonna be up puro when she lives hey, on the, the north side. Okay, <laughs> fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Which is fine. I've gotten used to it. But we, our place is up high and it faces Fiesta, Texas, and that they do a real good job oh, too, yeah. man. That was just as good. Their fireworks is. We awesome. did that for Fourth of July. It was awesome. Where you find a little place to park the car. Yes, yeah, side. yeah. We're able um, to see it from our from our. Not our direct balcony, but in the complex we live in, nice. there is a big banister for people that want to hang out outside, and it's elevated, and it looks the, uh, up toward the hill country, and you can see all that business at the, at the Fiesta, Texas. So we'll probably just do that again. I live with a little homebody. People don't know that about her, but it's I'm right. fine, fine with me. Uh-huh. I'm an old man now, so it's fine. <laughs> Chilling at the house. We'll, we'll make, we'll make yeah. some meals and watch it from our yeah. house and go to bed on time. Don't have to drive and yeah, all Yeah, no driving. Parking. Lynette and mm-hmm. I will talk about, you're going to take me out. We're going to go listen to music. We're going to do all this. And we have dinner. Oh, you want to just watch Law & Order? Yeah, let's just yeah. watch Law & Order. <laughs> Isn't that how funny how it goes? It's funny how it goes. It's like, uh, uh, let's somebody, just stay home yeah, and watch y'all, Especially when, they, when your kids were little. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, baby, we got a babysitter. Yeah, we got a babysitter. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we it's on now. We go, we what go, do y'all do? We took a nap? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Man. I remember I told my wife, look, girl, girl, we're going to Walmart, and uh, you better 
Put on that leather outfit because we're going <laughs> to – we're going to Walmart wow. last week. So my 22-year-old mm-hmm. came down to visit me for Christmas. And I saw so the I picture. Had, yeah, yes. thanks. I yes. had my two oldest with me, and they were all they, – they came down, got boyfriend, got mother, daughter. All, hey, Daddy, we're going to go out, right? Yeah, we're going to go out. So we went and we had dinner. Mm-hmm. I bought everything. 10 o'clock, going home. <laughs> going home. Yeah. <laughs> We ain't going to clubbing. <laughs> I'm your father. I ain't your homie. <laughs> they were all like disappointed. I'm like, this is your daddy now. Yeah. It's yeah. 1030. Yeah. It's, right. no, it's Mimi's. Because I got to get <laughs> my seven, at least six. And I would, write, I would like to get <laughs> my seven. And I, when I say I want seven, I don't mean go to bed at 3 a.m. and wake up at 10. Yeah. I'm talking about I'm sleeping 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. Okay. Because yep. them dogs are still going to scratch on the door and need to go out. You know, yeah, that's and true. y'all, you're going to sleep half the day anyway. You want to see daddy? You got to get up in the morning. I'm not yeah. changing my schedule, even for my kids. So I don't, I don't think I've gotten less cool, but I have gotten less active where I don't have that need to like go party all night yeah. on a, it's new year's Eve. And by the way, if I'm not awake, that's fine. That's yeah. okay. I'm going to probably be awake, but we in my to, house. If we go to a club or something like that, yeah, we are literally going like at eight. I was going to say, and that's the thing. And when, I'm done by 10. When Nina and I do do stuff, it's yeah. early. Yeah. Hey, we still party like rock that's stars right. at 5 p.m. Hey, hey, we're, we're, I'm not kidding. Day drinking's the bomb when you're we, this age. Where we go? You go to bed on time, you're that's not hung over. It's that's great. True. Where are we going? We're going to Picks. What time? Eight. Yeah. Then Are they open at that time? <laughs> Yeah, get there. Yeah, we get right. What are the, when are y'all open? Seven thirty. Okay, thirty one. Only fools in, in there. Let me in. Got the place to yourself. <laughs> got it to yourself. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. No lines in the bar. No lines. Bathroom. You're good to go. It's all good. It's yeah, like, yeah. come so, on, get the band going. Yeah, we still do. <laughs> we got a sitter. Let's go. <laughs> I still do the same things I've always done, just not as long and not as late. Because at this at this age, yeah. not. The thing that wrecks my health the most is not skipping workouts or eating like crap. It's mm-hmm. not sleeping enough. Oh, I know. Yeah, That's for, where I'm at right now. For this man here, how many years? How many years? 17 Yee. and a half. Yeah, uh, you can't, you'll never get that back. No, and now mm-hmm. I am living kind of the reality now of what I missed out on all those years of, of just terrible sleeping. Now, yeah. I mean, yeah. I might look the same and I might weigh the same as I did when I left, mm-hmm. but I feel feel so much better sure. because the quality of sleep I is felt so like I did morning drive for six and a half years yeah. on radio and I didn't have to get all dressed up yeah. I could just roll in there but <laughs> yeah. I still felt like man you're I'm you're taking years off your life yeah is that really is that worth having a big radio show no and it, and it, and it came to a point where no it was not no, I'm, I'm I'm ready to get a CPAP this year for real <laughs> I need that that's your resolution that's my Brand resolution CPAP. I need a CPAP because according to everybody that tells me I snore and <laughs> I, I mean it it I get up between going to the john every hour on the hour and then cutting in a Facebook post or whatever at two in the morning or three in the morning because I can't sleep go back to sleep Somehow I find a way to go back to sleep because my feet are all swollen. And I'm like, you know what? This is, I'm jacked up, man. I need a CPAP. Because I hear by, are they, these people that have one swear that by it because it's like, it's the most peaceful sleep I ever had. That's all I hear. So you know what? I'm ready for that peaceful sleep. You know, I'm ready for that peaceful we're, we're sleep. We're talking about in this year, you know, the stress that I put myself under by leaving my career and starting over and taking a risk and these kinds of things, it was messing up my sleep. Yeah. Um, because I, you know, I was worried. I was okay. A, a lot of times it wasn't even just worry. worry. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't even just worry. It was, but not some nights it was just, I've got so much to do tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. your brain doesn't stop. Yeah. I got to call this you, guy, it follow just up with going. this email, just call going. this person, make sure you have content, call LG about that. Oh gosh. Er, Ernie, uh, <laughs> have you ever had to say, it's, not now, babe, I'm, I'm thinking So of what I right discovered now. this yeah. year, got I, a lot on my mind. I've been doing something illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Gummies. Have Gummies. saved my health. <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, okay, man. Yeah, minute. yeah, yeah. Th- wait, what? THC infused gummies have okay. saved my health. I have not slept this good in years. What is it again? Marijuana likes oh, gummies. <laughs> THC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- gummies, dude. I yeah, yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. Do you do you just bite oh the leg? <laughs> No, like it's a not bear? a gummy bear. It's, oh, a, no. it's a square. <laughs> it, it, no, it looks like a now and later. Okay. Or it looks, looks like a... Um, <laughs> what the what's the old no. square candies? Uh, <laughs> Starburst. Starburst. It looks like Starburst. I've had... <laughs> it's like eating Starburst. I've been, I, I've been, and I sleep awesome. And I take them about 30 minutes bite, before I go to bed. You bite and the I'm leg. good. <laughs> you bite 
<laughs> you just bite the head, you don't get as high. Yeah. Oh, no, I eat the whole pop it. You never heard of that? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and little gummy bears and some people will want to pop the whole thing. Like, uh, no, 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 just, just bite the leg. <laughs> Dude, I am telling you right now. At Please. some point, this dumbass state is going to wise up and legalize THC. Once and for <laughs> half the states in this country now have legal weed, and none of them have any of the problems that no. people are worried about forever. None of them. Matter of fact, most of them are thriving. Like the get, state of Colorado. That place looks beautiful. Their education <laughs> system is amazing. They use all that tax dollars to pay for that stuff. I'm telling you right now, when this state legalizes weed and people start, middle-aged guys like me, you don't have to smoke pot. It's a gummy. It's yeah, a, yeah. They give gummies to old people now in hospitals. It helps me sleep. I'll eat lives. the whole darn thing. Dude, it's going to put all these sleep diets and sleep apps and all CPAPs and whatever <laughs> apps out of business. Because it's God's <laughs> way of making, helping you go to sleep. It's natural THC from the ground. So do you think, what do you great. think will happen first? Legalizing marijuana in mm -hmm. Texas or legalizing gambling? In, oh, gosh. I don't know, Because I feel like, good one. I think I feel like both of them are discussed in like, the gambling I've heard more about recently. I think recently. marijuana, you know, honestly. I hope. Because it's all over the place. I think, it, well, gambling too, but... I, I don't know. Uh, I, you cannot abuse marijuana. You can abuse gambling. Yeah, you can, oh <laughs> you can ruin your Many life people over have. gambling. Not marijuana. Not weed. <laughs> you know? uh, there's no such thing it, as a dysfunctioning pothead. I don't it, know any. It, I know lots of people that, do are, that consume right, THC, at right, least recreationally, right. at least sometimes. <laughs> and they're actors. And, and they're politicians. And they are doctors. And they are owners of companies. And I know their names. And they work in this town. <laughs> and they're... <laughs> We have this but they're state. doing all right, is what I'm, you're saying. Yeah. Like, no, of course. <laughs> I shouldn't even have to argue this in 2023. Well. But it's I sleep well because of gummies. And Whoever legalizes marijuana and lowers the cost of grapes, that's my vote. <laughs> that's all vote. I'm saying right now. Right on air. Okay. Bingo. Get that LG. Bingo. Mark the tape on that one. Bingo. Dude, what, are you, what are you doing for New Year's? Don't smoke any? more in 2024. I I, <laughs> no tradition. No, no, I don't. I don't know. Well, uh, I, I don't know yet. We were talking about this morning. Uh, the the you know get a room downtown versus mm -hmm. staying uh, just in the neighborhood with friends and not having to risk the driving and all that stuff. Um, but but getting back to what he was saying about the THC is, is I talked about in next year. One of my goals is to be more health conscious, and I, I've never taken supplements or vitamins ever. I mean, Flintstone vitamins were the last really? things I took. 30, One a day here. 35 years ago. Right. One a day here. And melatonin would be the only other thing I've put in my mouth, you know, in terms of just when I was on the air taking oh, that yeah. to, to sleep. Yep. Um, but, Naps but, were golden but for me. People tell me now you, you got to take the, what is it, the vitamin supplements and oh, yeah. uh, vitamin D and, 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 and uh, a men's multi whatever. And so, mm -hmm. but I, I feel like there's a million of them out there. And so how the heck do you pick what is right for you? You my know. my wife just got a juicer for Christmas, so mm -hmm. all that means is I'm going to be drinking a lot of juice. So you'll be for, regular for years. Be regular. So one of my good buddies, not not one not one of the THC users, I don't think. <laughs> Man, wait, you know, well, who knows? One of my buddies is the CEO of a Rosti, the rehab. Sure, yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. Um, that Thompson guy, yeah, Doc Garrett. Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. Doc yeah, yeah. Garrett was a client of mine on the radio station for ten years, mm -hmm. and we're friends to this day. He is my medicinal guru. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't, I mean, we don't talk about pot. We talk about other things. He is my, he has been my helper when it comes to trying to stay in shape, physical shape based on my body structure. And I don't want to look like Doc Garrett. I have no means to look. I don't want to be all built. I just want to be, I just want to live a long time. Yeah. And if I'm going to live a long time, I want to be healthy while I do it. Mm -hmm. So I do, I, I'm a big believer in vitamins, maybe not supplements, but whatever, however you want to call it. Whatever. Yeah. I take so. a men's multi every day. Yeah, I need to do that. Uh, I take enzymes, um, <clears throat> plant-based enzymes. You get it G GNC. Mm -hmm. And I take horny goat weed every single day. Do you boys know what horny <laughs> yes. goat weed is? I yes, do not. Yes. Horny do goat weed. Do I want weed. to know? It, 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 it makes you... Um, it's not Viagra. It's, it's not Viagra. No. So no. it keeps you... Keeps it you, keeps you, you, keeps you virile. Yeah. Oh. If you're it, able yes. to. Yes. Yeah. I take... One, I pop a hor two horny goat weeds every single morning. That'd be a waste of my money right there. <sighs> and this, <laughs> I, this homegirl here in the hall ain't complaining. <laughs> I, let me check. Oh, good. Nope, she's good. She's right. good. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, she can't hear us. She's good. <laughs> she good. Horny goat weed, yep. There, look, there mm -hmm. are things I fear getting older. The thing I fear the most is the loss of that. 
you working. When that stops, I'm going to go down to the coast. I'm going to rent a dinghy. I'm going to go out about five <laughs> no, miles. No. I'm going to put a cinder block to no, my leg. Oh, no. I'm going to feed myself to the no. fishes. No. That's it. I ain't being impotent. Mm-mm. So where does one, that. again, forgive horny my ignorance, goat weed. where does one find the horny goat weed? Any drugstore. A- any, I, I go any, to any, uh, GNC. GNC, yeah, okay, or, yeah, or Rock Surplus or whatever that thing's it's, it's called. An un, it's an unfortunate name. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. But it really is a great natural substance. And how, it's not how illegal, effective obviously. is it, really? Dude, um, I... It's like it's like I also use head and shoulders every day to wash my hair. I don't have dandruff. It's like the shampoo, right? Okay. So it's like maybe the cat shampoo. I use head and shoulders, but you don't have dandruff. Of course. <laughs> Exacto mundo. <laughs> and my penis works every time. <laughs> I take horny go weed. Not the head and shoulders. Oh, no. And this was all. There's a joke in there Doc somewhere. Garrett, there's a joke in there somewhere. Doc Garrett, who I, and Doc Garrett, who was trained Tony Parker, Becky Hammond. Athletes galore, Steph Curry. Doc Garrett single-handedly put Steph Curry back on the court years ago. Remember Steph Curry yeah, yeah. had all those he issues? Was hurt. He was hurt three years of his start of his so career. So you're telling me a he West Coast a doctor in California and Oakland, San Francisco didn't do that? Doc Garrett. Doc Garrett, Garrett Curry. here in San Francisco. With horny goat Absolutely. Weed. Well, no, my point is Doc no, knows what he's he doing. He knows what he's, he's doing. doing okay. Yeah, he knows what he's wow. talking about. So if he re- 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 oh, you know, some, yeah. he cured my bunion pains, you know? <laughs> Um, have you, you haven't seen my bunion. Have no, you? yeah, we did, we did, we did. Yeah, no, you did show it to us. I got a bunion. You don't remember seeing it? You but showed it, it to us the other day. Uh, at me oh, well, you ain't seen it. I'm gonna bust it out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll show it to you without taking the sock off. Um, <laughs> all right, here you go, LG. Put that on there. You see, oh my see gosh. How my sock goes way yeah. Up? yeah. Wow. Yeah. See that? Look at there. That's like going. That's like going to Halotus. There it is. That's it. This little piggy went to San Antonio. This one's over here in Halotus. So much trouble. And I asked Doc one time, dude, do you think I'm going to go get this cut off? Yeah. I was oh, like, don't you dare terrible. do that. That's terrible. Really? It's been ten thousand oh. dollars. It's going to be it's going to be sore for six months, and it's going to hurt. Don't do that. What you need to do? He recommended sandals. What? Chanclas. Really? I wear high dollar chanclas. They're 110 bucks. Wow. But they've lasted me for years. They are called Olukai. I'm just name dropping. Clients. Oh wow! Got some bitches, I, I should get a. We need a sponsorship. Get a... Can we get a sponsor? <laughs> so there is a Hawaiian-made sandal, ironically, a boo. that you can yeah. get right here in town, Sun and Ski Sports, the mall. It's about a hundred bucks for the, but they're genuine leather. They're hand stitched, and I time. went and got me a pair of Olukai horny brown goat sl- weed. You know what? I'll, I'll bring the slippers next week and show them to you. Olukai. They got. They're starting to form a hole. I've had them so long. <laughs> yeah. Well. As soon as I got those, I have. It's been, gosh, it was 2013. Ten years, Ten years now, I've been wearing those same slippers. They're getting starting to get old now. You're due for. A- and I've not had bunion pain since, and I had pain for a year and tried different shoes. Tried. I, I was like, gosh, I'm gonna, I'm got to quit working out. I don't want to do that. And so are you, are you, I discovered are you these sandals. Are you, are you gonna work out for the new year? Oh, you got that? More? Yeah. I need to, yeah. yeah I, I used to be pretty good about it, but the last month or so, I've slacked off, See, man. I, I'm like him, because with me, before it used to be, I could work out till I was blue in the face. Yeah. I just couldn't eat right. I just could and not And that get means everything, the, by the way. Yeah. That's more important I, than the yeah, exercise. Yeah, it's more important. So yeah. now, because of my energy level, I can't, I don't have an, an urgency or want to work out, but I can eat better. Yeah. And, That's good. You know, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I I find myself losing a little bit of weight, right? Because I'm not eating as much. But now I got high blood pressure, and it's like mm. very high all that? the time. I got this. I had to get this about <laughs> from the time I lost my job over there. Oh, uh, so you think so it's not? You didn't just get it. It's it. You it, can, no it, because lifestyle. You know what? So I, which means you can get rid of it. I could get rid of it. The only thing is, is that. Um, it's, it's, it sounds weird, but if I exercise, uh, if I exercise, I can get, I can lower my blood. I mean, my high blood pressure. It's just, it has a lot to do with the diabetes. Had a lot to do with the lack of sleep mm-hmm. because your body is constantly working and you're awake and you're just you're not concentrating, not sleeping right to where it's like I'll double. I had to double up on my blood pressure medicine. So my whole goal for the new year is to get off somehow, some way off these meds. And, yeah. you know, especially the diabetes yeah. one. So, right. you know, yeah, it's yeah. just, I've, it's been the same goal every year. So it's like, now I'm like, I got my tennies, I got my gym. I got, you know, the only thing I'm lacking is my treadmill that I want to get, you know, yeah. but once I get that, I'm good to go. So very good. All right, one more Doc Garrett quote. He's my spiritual guru. Go He's ahead. my health guru. <laughs> so 
what he says is you don't get a six pack in the gym. That oh really? You get a six pack in the kitchen. In the kitchen, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the I've food heard that. you put mm-hmm. in your body. This all the working out is great for your core and your muscles, and it's good. But the 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 flat belly and the weight loss. That's if you in if you work, you can work it all you want. You're eating white tortillas all day and bread and all that bullshit. It ain't gonna do any good. That's right. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I know, I know. I know, right? Damn it. I know. Have a happy new year. <laughs> Is it, do you have a weight goal that you want to be? I always do. But it's, just, it's always, I want, I always want to, I always say I want to have my wedding day weight. <laughs> always do. You know, my, my wedding day weight. Am How I, much have you put on since then? Since my wedding? Yeah. Well, it's I mean, almost 25 years. Okay. Uh, How many pounds are we talking about? about? It's doable. 30. 30 well, pounds? Well, lost, I've lost 25 pounds twice when I was on That's the right. air. I remember that. Oh. I lost. And so I know it, but, but you know what I did? Never went to the gym. Fasted. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's Cause big. you got to remember I was eating dinner like at four o'clock in the afternoon. I can't eating my do first that, meal man. of the day at know, three man. in the morning. Mm-hmm. So, so people live, people swear. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never known anyone who did intermittent, intermittent fasting mm-hmm. that told me it didn't work. Oh, it's it, it every worked twice single, for me. It works. So but it like, sucks sometimes. It's where you don't eat anything <laughs> until like until noon. Yeah, and then you stop at eight o'clock, and you go yeah. sixteen hours before eating anything. Or in my case, I would stop eating at one in the afternoon. Like and I not would eat. Till I'd when? get home at noon. Yeah, not eat till one. Yeah, and I probably wouldn't eat until like seven a.m. I'd eat like <clears throat> during the commercial at seven a.m. Yeah, the following morning, and I and I I had to get through the, the first two or three days sucked, but then once you get to that, you get in a rhythm. And you start to lose a pound a day, pound mm-hmm. and a half, and like you it just feeling melt, better, literally right? melts yeah. off. Wow! And, but it's—I mean, if it were easy, everybody'd be doing it. Well, I and I can't because I don't know what it is. It's not an excuse because believe me, I would do it if I could. I get ill if I go more than about five or six hours without eating anything. Really? So that's why I try to eat the right things. Yeah. I don't always, I don't always work. I try to keep my proportions low because I think I think, and I've never been diagnosed, but I think I may be hypoglycemic. Mm. Whereas, like my blood pressure, my, my blood sugar just plummets if I don't eat after a certain mm. time. I go to if I skip breakfast by eleven a.m. I'm gonna get ill, like like incapacitatedly ill. I could just feel my I can feel the my just you, know, you get sick, you just feel yeah. your life force just running down your body. <laughs> That's what I get if I don't eat breakfast. Yeah. I have to eat in the morning. I can't. So I'm trying to do the bit where I cut it off at night. Yeah. Like by seven. Yeah. And then see, and then try to make it till seven the next day before I eat. That's Shoot. The only I'm way to, I can do that. I'm trying to get past stopping at seven and trying to get past seven oh seven. <laughs> you know, it's like good what's night. Your snack? Like, I mean, what you, what's the I'm biggest like, thing? I'm dying you, at that when you time. You violate. I, I violate my no snacks after seven all the time. <laughs> what is it? it what what, uh, what calls you? Man, I I got my th- my downfall right now mm-hmm. is bread, I, and pasta, popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. Me, same uh, popcorn. It's popcorn. It's not a peanuts. bad snack, but you yeah. eat if you Trail eat mix a or bucket popcorn. of popcorn. Yeah, yeah. see, the and watery the, kind uh, yeah, with with me. Carbs, with you know what stops caramel. you know what yeah, stops man. my workouts is the soreness. That's what hurts me. That's it, when you have to do it more. Oh you got to fight God. through it. physical pain. Mm-hmm. I told Lynette. I said, look, I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I'm not doing leg day ever again in life. <laughs> I'm just gonna be up here built, but I'm be from down the waist skinny like, legs like down. Oh yeah, line. that's right. I'll be skinny legs down here. Yeah, I'm telling man. you right now. You, I'm not doing leg day ever again in life. The healthiest I'm telling you I've right ever now. been in my life was living in Hawaii because the ocean was right there. Oh yeah, yeah. I swam in the ocean every even for 20 minutes. Yes. I, but yeah, but there was not a day that went by that I did not get in that ocean. At least for a little, even even if it's just fifteen minutes, just swim out as far as I can, hundred yards or so, turn around and swim back, and that's it. I'd rather Dude. swim with sharks than have to do leg day. You would. Be- I'll, I'll, I'm gonna tell yeah, you right absolutely. now because no leg day, I I. I I couldn't go to the restroom. Oh, right. no, oh no! I couldn't sit down. Oh, no. Ooh, I couldn't honey. sit down. I, I, it, you get mm. to a point where you're like right here, <laughs> and you're like right here, and you got to make a decision. And when you make that decision, like, oh, oh. you throw you yourself can't get up. down. Then you got to get up. Then you got to get up. Yeah, and that's like the mother of all mothers. And I said, nope. Yeah, I forget. I'm Christian at those times. Uh, I really oh. do. I forget. I wear get, a diaper. I get. Yes, exactly. A right. bag would be better. Than that's right. 
Dang. I said, I told my wife, I'm never doing leg dick. I don't care how much BCAs you give me. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing any of that ever again. I'm just going to be up here yeah, strength wise. And that's it. I'm not running. I'm not even walking. Yeah. Unless I get a treadmill because I can walk around my block. I walk around my block once and that's a 30 minute walk. And mm-hmm. it's like a mile and a half. Mm-hmm. But I'm afraid that I'm going to die on oh, the other side. No. But I've got the and answer nobody. to your leg day issues. <laughs> You had weed. Well, horny goat well, weed. Yeah, well, horny, yeah. well, that's horny goat weed. Living, I, got, I got to the point in Hawaii where I'm like, dang, dude, I was getting a little too scrawny. Like, <laughs> I was looking. I got, I, I got down to my ideal weight's 165. I'm 5'9". Five 165, mm. that's where I need to be. Right now, I'm about 173. So I got eight to go. But in Hawaii, I got down to 155 once. And wow. I thought, whoa, dude, you're looking gone. It's all the swimming. <laughs> And I'm yeah. like, that's, that, uh, no, I, I don't want to like, I don't want to look like a teenage boy. Well, Mike, I, so I put some weight back on, but of course I'm put back to San Antonio. <laughs> no. uh, Mike, Mike looks like one of those childhood stars that aged well, like Rob Lowe <laughs> and and Scott Bayo and all. Well, these I also guys, use moisturizer. You know? Anthony yeah. Michael Hall. Anthony Michael Hall. Yeah. Like <laughs> and Andrew he, McCartney. Yeah, or whatever, Tom Cruise. Yeah. He yeah. looks like oh. one of these childhood <laughs> stars that just age really well. Moisturizer, baby. That's where I look at myself and I'm like, wow. You know that you're TV man. You know this stuff. Look how I turned out. Do you, use, <laughs> do you, do you, do you yeah, moisturize? No, it's weed. I don't, it's weed. No, no, no. It's, it's, I just bite the leg. I bite no, the no. Leg. It's, it's, uh, I don't put a lot. I don't put a lot. <laughs> I'll put a no, lot. man, I. Uh, <coughs> but I in have, 2024, I'm gonna. I, maybe I need to talk to your guy. Eye cream, man, right I here. Just, I on need the, to on the line. Go to a Rasta. That's what I need. I got bags on mine. Goodness. From all the waking up in the morning. Yeah, oh, it gets gosh. worse. Like in those weeks where I'm, I'm stressed out. Yeah, I have so much to do. LG, I, go back to my, my picture on this thing. Yeah. Look at that. That look looks that. like Kenny Rogers gone bad. Oh, you look good, man. I like the beard. You're the gambler. You're the gambler. I love the multicolored. It's awesome. Hey, I boys, and Wolfman Jack. Remember yeah. Wolfman? <laughs> Yay, baby. Ah, back in the Wolfman day. Wolfman yeah. Jack. I Midnight love it. Special. Yeah, Midnight it. Special, Midnight Midnight that's get right. Get rid of this and keep the chops. That's yeah. the chops, yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Well, no, look do you know that. why I keep it like this? <laughs> My wife says she likes it because it, it makes it look like I got a jawline. Yeah, that's a And it hides the other chin. Oh. It hides the other chin. <laughs> so. all right, man. Thanks, LG. You can take that's it down there. Well, here's hoping that we're all a little healthier and happier in 2024. I mean, it's... I need to add Horny zeros. Goat weed. Add That's zeros. To I can't me. wait. I'm going straight Horny to the goat store. Weed. Add Horny zeros goat weed. and drop pounds. That's my okay. goal. Okay. Horny right. goat weed. Sure. I got to talk to your it's, guy. It, it, I'm telling you, man. It's good. All right. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had a guy to talk to. I don't even have well, you guy. do now. Well, yeah. yeah now. Well, now we get, I got yeah, a guy who yeah, knows yeah. a guy. I know, Absolutely. Hey, I believe you know my man, Mike Taylor. Exactly. His little Benjamin for you. Ask for the Mike Taylor special. Don Garrett is the most handsome man in San Antonio. And it's not oh. close. And the most fit. It's unbelievable. It's ridiculous. Well, that's but he is. also brings a common man's approach. That's why I go to him. That's my guy. Yeah. yeah. That's my guy. That's my quarterback. That's my, co- oh, that's yeah, my quarterback. Whatever he says, I do. He's my quarterback. That's right. <laughs> well, listen, um, we're going to wind down 2023 right here. And uh, we couldn't have done it without you and all the great people who, uh, who have supported us out there. We mentioned Chatterbox already. Uh, Alamo Tees, of course, integrity, yes. roofing, and siding. Uh, here's hoping Sorry. to a, a long and prosperous 2024 and many more shows together, but we really do appreciate I know I speak for the guys when I say thank you so much to everybody who has supported our little venture here, and um, here's to many more episodes in 2024. Thank you, boys. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year, fellas. Be safe. LG I know you will. will be I'll safe. see you in here next week. Make good decisions, right, as I tell my kids. <laughs> just make yeah, good yeah. decisions. Be good. When all else fails. Horny goat weed. You just you cannot be good. At least be safe. <laughs> That's right. And don't forget that goat weed. That's right. Amen to that. You, man. Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2024 <laughs> for the Three Says Podcast. Be blessed, guys. Be blessed. Both of you pictures of horny goat weed. Oh, wait. Man. No. Look at the time. Oh, look at the time. Horny goat weed. Wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh-huh. Three Cents Podcast is brought to you by Integrity Roofing and Siding. 